We're really excited to let you know that Paper Update 1.1 is now live. This video is going to go over some of the features of Paper Update 1.1 and show you how to use them. First thing we're going to talk about is split screen mode. So in order to engage split screen, go to your main menu and click split screen. Once your paper is in split screen mode, you're going to notice that the same workbook is open on both sides. You can select a different workbook by going to the library on either side and getting into the workbook that you would like to work on. For this video, I'm going to just use the same workbook and use different pages. From here, I can write notes on one side while I'm looking at content on the left side. If you're left-handed, you can actually swap pages just by going to the menu and clicking Swap. And that way, if you're left-handed, you can do your writing on the left side rather than the right. To exit split screen mode, all you do is go to your main menu again and say Full Screen. Another new feature in Update 1.1 is the ability for your workbook to remember the last page that you're on. As you'll see, I'm on page 2 of 16 in this document, Notes and Architecture. What I'll do is I'm going to exit it and go to a different workbook. When I go back into the Notes and Architecture workbook, you'll see that it will actually stay on page number 2 instead of reverting back to page number 1. Another cool feature is the ability to insert a new blank page directly after the page you're working on. So I'll show you what we're working with. If I go to the full menu, you'll see that the next page, page three, has an image on it. I go back into page number two, and then I'm going to insert a new page. You'll notice that the page number comes up as page three. I want to bring up my menu. It's now inserted directly after page two rather than at the end of the workbook. Another request we had was to get rid of the loading screen when switching from one page to the next. So that's been implemented in this new release. So now if I switch pages, it'll just go to the next page without bringing me to any kind of loading screen. Instead of having to go all the way back through your settings, now you can just click on the center oval button. And when that comes up, you have an option to check for updates. So it's a one touch to bring your updates in rather than moving around and selecting different menus.